I don't know where I'm from, who my birth parents are, or how I ended up a, a misfit in a typical white Christian New England town. Hi everybody, it's Buffy here. I want to update you on some questions that are going to be raised in the media about my truth and my ancestry, and I want to ensure you hear it from me first. For 60 years, I've been sharing my story as I know it. I'm an artist, an activist, a mom, a survivor, and a proud member of the Native community with deep roots in Canada. And I count myself lucky to have had two families to love, a growing up family who were wonderful, and my Pipot family who were also wonderful. But there are also many things I don't know, which I've always been honest about. I don't know where I'm from, who my birth parents are, or how I ended up a, a, a misfit in a typical white Christian New England town. But I realized decades ago that I would never have the answer to these questions. My growing up mom, who was proud to be part Mi'kmaq, told me many things, including that I was adopted and that I was native. And later in life, as an adult, she also told me some things that I've never shared out of respect for her, that I hate sharing now, including that I may have been born on the wrong side of the blanket. This was her story, and it has never been my place to share it. When I left home at 17, I began to explore the world and who I was on my own. I visited communities as an entertainer that nobody else would go to. They didn't even know they existed. I told stories from lived experiences that no one else would, and I championed causes that few others even knew about. They didn't show up. I also found a new family, a chosen family. And they took me in as an adult in accordance with Cree law and traditions, and they claim me as their own. This has been and always will be my truth. Now I've taken a step away from performing for my health, but at the same time, there are those who wish to question me. I can only think of all those I love and all those who see themselves in my story, my chosen family, my growing up family, indigenous people who have lost their heritage and survivors of abuse who have had their stories questioned. These questions hurt me, they still do, but they also hurt others. They're questions I've struggled with my whole life. So what can I say now? I know who I am, I know who I love and who loves me, and I know who claims me. And to those who question my truth, I say with love, I know who I am.